Well, hello everyone. It is Mr. Sunshine, Locksmith Eddie, coming to you live right here in uh, sunny South Florida. And I got a special trick for you today. What we're going to do today is we're going to make ourselves an electric lock pick. That's right. We're going to use an electric lock pick. Uh, as a matter of fact, these are the old pick guns. This is an HPC pistol pick uh, made by HPC. And uh, it's ba basically all it does is when you pull the trigger, it takes that. Uh, there and it theoretically pop, bounces the pins up in a lock uh, to get up into the shear line and at that one moment with the tension wrench you can turn it uh, there's an adjustable for tension here high and low you can actually turn this down all the way it'll move like that you can move it all the way up to the high position where it's going to make a lot more uh, uh, pressure up on those pins if you go too high you may bend the pick when it's in the lock, but basically that's what it is. It's going to do that. Well, what we're going to do today is we're going to see if we're making one out of these here. Now, this is a uh, single battery. This is a dual battery. So what we're going to do first, we're going to go ahead and we're going to try this first one here uh, with the single battery. And by uh, we're going to go ahead and take this out. I just bought these, so we're going to get the opportunity to see it live as it happens. All right, basically no instructions. This is just a basic uh, hit the button. There it is right there. You can see the thing moving. Turn it off. Uh, there's a battery that's already in there. There it is. So now what we're going to do, we got to take this head off of here. So to get this head off, uh, it looks to me like we're just going to push this little pin in here. Just like that. Just like this, I should say. It's really in there. Just like that. There you go. So we have the head off of it now, and there is your rod. And by pushing that button, there it is. It's bouncing. You can see it. You hear that right there? And by doing it this way. All right, so it's bouncing up and down this way, the way it's supposed to be. So we can put it in like that, hit the button, and the, the pin's going to go up and down uh, as it's the same as this right here. All right, so now what we got to do is we got to cut this out so we can get a little bit of this uh, out of here because you naturally it's gonna, not going to be enough to go into a lock. So uh, you can do one of two things. Use a. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use my Dremel tool. We're going to use the Dremel tool here, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to cut this right around here. As a matter of fact, I'm going to pull this over here to set this on so we can get at least fairly straight. You don't want to cut in too deep. And cut the, you don't want to cut the, the metal tab in there because we're going to need that. All right, so we got that off. Here we go. Here's the uh, piece here. We're going to go ahead and we're going to clean that up a little bit. Now, you don't want to go down too far because then you're going to go into the uh, plastic. It seems like I just made it uh, as to not to go down into there. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to take our little grinder here, a little, little wheel. And we're just going to go ahead and we're going to turn this down. Just like that. So there we go. We have our pick just like that now this is a round we need to have a flat all right you can see that uh, there's a round piece there that's going to be too wide so we got to flatten this out so to flatten this out to make it uh, we could either hit it uh, on a grinder to smile it down or we can just go ahead probably and uh, we're going to go ahead and use this right here so we're going to make it so that by putting it in this way with the button on we're going to have it 
flattened out this way. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take it like this. And we're going to go ahead and just grind this down. Just like that. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and by using it like this. Get it down a little farther. Now you don't want to go too deep because you don't want it there. It's already melting on there. So we already have it melting on the plastic. So uh, what we're going to do, let's just do it on the wood. Now we're going to turn it around. that you can see it's smoking <laughs> it's gonna go a little bit more <laughs> all right we got that done see that just like that we're gonna go a little bit more on this side Put a little water on that just to cool it off a little bit. Put a little water on that. There we go. And there we have it. Let's wipe that off. Look at that. So you can see we got that thin there. And by pushing the button, you can see it moving. And there you have it. So now uh, you can just go ahead. Let me go see if I can find a uh, lock that we can slide that into. So we went ahead. We filed this down a little bit more. Now you can see how thin that is right now. That it's hardened steel. So uh, we're going to be in good shape as far as that's concerned. Uh, we can actually put a little collar around this to dress it up a little bit. But uh, what I did was I went ahead and I got myself a lock. Uh, show you too. We got a simple rim cylinder. It's a rim cylinder uh, probably made by Ilko I believe and uh, as we turn the key pull it out locked up put the key in, turn it it works beautifully. Okay so now what we're going to do we're going to try this. We're going to see if we can get this uh, pick to operate to even open the simplest of locks hold on Okay, so as you can see, we have a nice thin blade there. Uh, it comes across, it's flat across here, and it's done here. So as you turn it on, you can see it, you can hear it vibrating. It's moving up and down. So now what we're going to do is we're going to try to open this lock. All right, we're going to try to open it. I got it in here in the vise. Uh, we're going to go ahead. We're going to put our tension wrench in there. This is a simple lock. Stick our pick in there. And there it is. We got it. There it is. Turned. So you can see it. There it is. Turned sideways. Works perfect. Put it back. Uh, 
There it is. All right, so there you go. I bought this at um, the uh, store. It was about seven bucks, I think it was seven dollars and thirty-eight cents. And uh, by a little custom Asian, we went ahead and made ourselves a pick. So there it is. Pick up that phone five six one six nine three eight six three six. Mister Sunshine with the Oral B uh, lock pick here in sunny South Florida. Thank you for watching.